ever dream of just like breezing past a massive Disney World standby line yeah. straight into that lightning lane. Oh. That's what we're diving into today. Like yeah. your guide to navigating all those lightning lane choices. Uh, right. From the brand new Premier Pass right. to those VIP tours. Especially with Disney, you know, constantly yeah. tweaking their systems. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Just this week right. on October 17th, 2024, mm -hmm. they dropped a bombshell. The Lightning Lane Premier Pass. Yeah, which is a fancy way of saying, okay. skip every line in one park if you've got the budget. Oh, okay. Think of it like Universal's Express Pass. Yeah. But with a price tag that can be even higher than some park tickets. Okay, that has budget buster alarm bells ringing in my head. Sure. So to help our listeners make sense of all this, yeah. we're breaking down each option, yeah. how they work, mm -hmm. how much they cost, right. and who they're right for. Because it's not about spending the most... It's yeah. about spending smartly to maximize your Disney experience. Music to my ears. Right. So before we dive into the specifics of each strategy, right. let's quickly define what we're talking about. Sure. It can be a bit of a Disney alphabet soup. Absolutely. Right. Let's start with the basics. Okay. We have individual lightning lanes. Okay. Which you purchase one at a time. Okay. For specific high demand rides, mm. like Rise of the Resistance. Yep. Think of these as your fast sense. pass for the most popular attractions. Got it. So if Rise of the Resistance is a non-negotiable, mm -hmm. that's where an individual lightning lane comes in. Precisely. Then we have the multi-pass. Okay. This allows you to pre-book up to three lightning lane entry times at once okay. for a selection of rides in a single park. Right. This is a great option right? for knocking out several popular rides mm -hmm. in a more budget friendly way. Okay. So for someone who likes to plan ahead right. and tackle those must do rides, the multi pass is a good starting point. Exactly. Uh -huh. Now imagine combining the multi pass okay. with strategic individual lightning lane purchases. Right. That's our option one, the strategic mix and matcher approach. Sounds perfect for our budget conscious planners. Right. But for those who want to skip every line, yeah. There's the new premier pass. Right. Launching October thirtieth. Okay. This is Disney's answer to Universal's Express Pass. Okay. But pricier. Okay. We're talking anywhere from $129 to a whopping $449 per person. Wow. Per day, depending on the park and date. Yikes. My wallet just did a disappearing act. Yeah. So it's like surge pricing for rides. Exactly. The busier the park yeah. and the more in demand the date, right. the yeah. higher the price. Exactly. And just like okay. those ride sharing apps that surge during peak times, right. the Premier Pass price fluctuates based on crowd levels and demand. Wow, okay. Now for that hefty price, yeah. you get one time access to every single lightning lane in a specific park. Right. Plus some bonus photo pass perks. Okay, so for someone who wants to conquer every ride right. wow. without the stress of booking individual passes, yep. the Premier Pass offers that efficiency but at a premium. Exactly. It's all about weighing those priorities, right? Okay. Do you value efficiency above all else, right. even at a higher cost? Yeah. Or are you willing to be more strategic ah. and potentially save some money? That's the million dollar question. Right. Or should I say the potential 449 question? There you go. Now, speaking of big spenders. Yeah. Let's talk about the most luxurious option, VIP tours. Ah. Yes, the money is no object experience. Right. Now, before you balk at the starting price of $450 per hour right. with a seven-hour minimum, Wow. remember, this isn't just about skipping lines. It's like having your own personal Disney fairy godmother. Right. Granting wishes and crafting magical moments. Yeah. But with a price tag that reflects that exclusivity, exactly. You're paying for a personalized itinerary. Okay. Behind the scenes peaks. Right. Maybe even those impossible to get restaurant reservations. Wow. And most importantly, yeah. you're getting a dedicated guide All right. who knows the parks like the back of their hand. So for someone who wants the absolute best Disney has to offer right. with minimal wait times and maximum magic, yep. a VIP tour is the ultimate indulgence. It is. But as with all things Disney, sure. there's a whole spectrum of choices between yeah. those two extremes. Right. Let's get into the nitty gritty of each option, okay. starting with our strategic mix and matcher approach. Because even if you're on a budget, yeah, you can still experience those shorter lines right. and maximize your day. 
I like it. So for our listeners who are all about maximizing their budget, right? let's unpack option one. Okay. The strategic mix and matcher approach. This strategy is all about right. picking your battles, so to speak. Okay. You're identifying your absolute must-do rides right. and planning your day around those. Exactly. No point in paying a premium for every single ride right. if you're content to stroll through some queues and soak in the atmosphere. Precisely. Right. Now remember, you can pre-book up to three lightning lane entries at once right. with the Rolta Pass okay. for a set price. Okay. This is where your planning skills come into play. Let's say our listener is heading to Hollywood Studios, okay. home of Star Wars, Galaxy's Edge, right. and those notoriously long lines. Mm -hmm. What's their game plan? Mm -hmm. They'd want to snag a multi-pass okay. and use it to book those big hitters. Okay. Slinky Dog Dash, right. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, mm -hmm. and maybe Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Okay. That knocks out three of the most popular rides right there. Leaving them free to explore other areas of the park. Right. Grab some lunch. Yeah. Or maybe even snag a standby line for a show if they're feeling patient. Exactly. Now, let's say our listener is also dying to experience Rise of the Resistance, mm. but they've already used up their multi-pass selections. That's where those individual lightning lane purchases come in clutch. Uh, exactly. They can grab an individual lightning lane for Rise, yeah. even on the same day, right. as long as they're available. Okay. Think of it as that extra boost oh, to right. ensure you conquer the most sought-after attractions. I love that this strategy allows for a blend of planning and spontaneity. Right. You've got your big ticket items covered, mm -hmm. but you can still leave room for those on the fly decisions. And that flexibility can be especially valuable right. at a park like Epcot, okay. where you might want to spend more time right. exploring the World Showcase mm -hmm. or catching a festival. Speaking of Epcot, yeah. how does this strategy play out there? Sure. Their premier pass prices tend to be a bit lower than Magic Kingdom or Hollywood Studios, yeah. but still not exactly chump change. That's where that cost-conscious approach really shines. Okay. Epcot's multi-pass is actually quite reasonable, yep. making it a fantastic option for those who want to right. cherry-pick their Lightning Lane experiences. So you could use your multi-pass to tackle Test Track and Frozen Ever After, yeah. those perennial favorites. Exactly. And then if your heart desires and your budget allows Right. Grab an individual lightning lane for Remy's Ratatouille adventure. Exactly. You're still getting those shorter wait times okay. for the most in-demand rides. Right. But you're not locked into a single park or a rigid itinerary. It's like having your cake and eating it too. There you go. But with shorter lines. Precisely. <laughs> and speaking of shorter lines and maximizing your time, yeah. let's shift gears to those who aren't afraid to splurge for that ultimate efficiency. Uh. The Premier Pass. The I want it all experience yeah, where you can bypass every single lightning lane in a chosen park for a price. Yeah. But remember that price tag can fluctuate more than a pirate ship on rough seas. It's true. Right. And this is where those comparisons to Universal's Express Pass can be a bit misleading. While both offer expedited ride access, mm -hmm. the Premier Pass's dynamic pricing right. can make it a significantly pricier option, okay. especially on those peak days. We're talking potentially more than the cost of a park ticket itself, right? right. So let's break down those numbers for our listeners so they mm -hmm. can truly understand what they're getting into. Let's take Magic Kingdom, for example. Okay. On a low crowd day, right. the Premier Pass might set you back around $329 per person. Which on the surface might seem like a steal right? if you're planning on hitting every single ride. Yeah. But let's factor in a family of four. Suddenly you're looking at over $1,300 wow. just for lightning lane access right. on top of your park tickets, food, souvenirs. Yeah. You yeah. get the picture. My credit card is sweating just thinking about it. <laughs> right. And that's on a low W crowd day. Right. During peak seasons. Oh, boy. Like those coveted holiday weeks. Yeah. That price can skyrocket to $449 per person. Wow. Per day. So we're talking almost $1,800 for a family of four right. just for the privilege of skipping lines. Correct. That's a serious chunk of change. It is. Even for the most diehard Disney fan. Which is why it's crucial to weigh those priorities. Right. And understand what you're getting for that premium price. Right. Yes, you get to bypass every single lightning lane. Right. But is that level of efficiency worth potentially sacrificing right. other aspects of your trip, right. like dining experiences yeah. or even an extra day at, at the parks. That's the trade-off, isn't it? It is. 
Now, let's say our listener is set on experiencing those shorter wait times and mm. maximizing their ride count, mm. but they're also traveling with a larger group, okay. maybe extended family or friends. Right. Is the Premier Pass still the way to go? That's where things get interesting. Okay. Because while the Premier Pass might seem like the obvious choice mm. for line skipping enthusiasts, right. it's not always the most cost effective option, especially for larger groups. And I think I know where you're going with this. Okay, yeah. those luxurious, yeah. seemingly out of reach VIP tours right. might actually be the smarter financial choice in some scenarios. You got it. <laughs> okay. It's all about those numbers. Yeah. And sometimes those numbers tell a surprising story. I like it. Okay, my mind is officially blown. VIT tours, the stuff of Disney legend could actually be the budget savvy choice. How does that even work? It's all about perspective and like crunching those numbers. Right. Let's rewind to our family of four at Magic Kingdom. Okay. Remember that $1,300 price tag for the Premier Pass on a low crowd day. Right. Well, the VIP tour at its base price of $3,150 for up to 10 guests. Okay. Might seem astronomical at first glance. $3,150. I think I just heard my bank account whimper. Right. But here's the kicker. Okay. Divide that cost by 10 people and you're looking at $315 per person. Right. Suddenly, it's a fraction of the Premier Pass cost for a family of four. Well, and you can even invite six more friends or family members along for the ride. Okay, so the price becomes more competitive with a larger group. Right. But it's still a significant investment. Sure. What makes it worth it beyond just the cost comparison? With a VIP tour, you're not just passively skipping lines. Right. You're experiencing Disney at a whole other level. Okay. Your dedicated guide isn't just getting you on rides quickly. Right. They're crafting a personalized experience. Okay. Maybe you zip through a behind-the-scenes area most guests never see. Right. Or you snag a coveted spot for a parade with prime viewing. So it's like having your own personal Disney concierge exactly. whisking you through the parks with insider knowledge and access. And for those with larger groups. Right. Especially families with different interests. Right. A VIP tour can be a lifesaver. Okay. You're not stuck debating ride choices right. or splitting up constantly. Right. Your guide can tailor the experience to everyone's preferences. Yeah. Keeping everyone happy and engaged. Yeah. It sounds like a recipe for the most harmonious Disney trip ever, right. albeit a pricey one. It can be. But even if a VIP tour isn't in the cards, sure. this entire conversation has highlighted the importance of strategy and planning. Absolutely. Right. Regardless of your budget or your lightning lane approach, right. a well-planned Disney day is key to maximizing your time and enjoyment. So let's recap those strategies one last time. Okay. For our budget conscious planners. Right. The strategic mix and matcher approach, Got combining it. the multi-pass with individual lightning lane purchases. Exactly. Offers a great balance of cost effectiveness and flexibility. You get to prioritize those absolute must-do rides right. while leaving room for spontaneity and exploration. For the I want it all experience, right. the Premier Pass grants you access to every lightning lane in a chosen park. You got it. Just be prepared for that dynamically priced ticket, right? which can fluctuate more than Space Mountain. That's right. And for those seeking the ultimate Disney indulgence. Yeah. With personalized service, behind-the-scenes access, mm -hmm. and minimal wait times. Right a VIP tour might be worth considering. It might. Especially for larger groups. Especially for larger groups. Ultimately, the best lightning lane strategy is the one that aligns with your priorities, right. your budget, mm -hmm. and your vision for the perfect Disney day. Right. Precisely. But amidst all the planning and strategizing, right. remember the most important thing, to enjoy the magic. Wise words. Mm -hmm. Don't get so caught up in maximizing every second right. that you forget to savor the experience, the yeah. atmosphere, yeah. and those spontaneous moments that make Disney so special. Because sometimes the best memories are made while strolling down Main Street, right. soaking in the sights and sounds, mm -hmm. or stumbling upon an unexpected character encounter. Exactly. Those unplanned moments of joy are what make a Disney trip truly magical. They do. So, yes, plan your lightning lane strategy. All right. But also leave room for spontaneity. Yeah. For those serendipitous encounters that will make your trip unforgettable. I like it. And with that, we'll leave you to ponder the possibilities. There you go. Happy planning, and may your Disney adventures be filled with both strategic line skipping and spontaneous bursts of magic. Well said.